other day at the coffee shop. I thought that we would never get rid of Anne so I could talk to that cute bartender alone. The gas pains to get rid of Sarah were very helpful. I'm not praying for anything different today. I just wanted to ask you to please send me the perfect man. A lawyer. Or an architect. A doctor. Just please let me find him before she does. Thank you. Amen. So what did you pray for? I prayed for you. Oh, I prayed for you. <laughs> um, do you want to go get coffee? Um, oh, I forgot I have to pray for a cancer patient. Oh. Well, I have to go give blankets to the homeless. <laughs> so beautiful. You think so? Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi. Hi. Dan. It's nice to meet you. Um, yeah. what are you, what, uh, what do you do? Um, I'm I... working on the redesign of this church. I'm an architect, so. You're an architect? Yeah. Okay. Um, I know this sounds really forward, but I would really like to um, get to know you better. Uh, I, I, can I call you or something? Or uh... my friend Tim's having oh. a show. Oh, I love art. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. So. Well, I'll see you there then. Okay. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus! Mm. Mm. Hello? Hey, Sarah. Hey. Hey, um, I'm just calling to apologize about not making it to coffee on Saturday. Oh, well, sure, that's fine. There's no need to apologize. By the way, I wasn't cranky on Saturday. Cranky? What are you talking about? I read your blog. Oh, oh. <laughs> I read on your blog that you met somebody. Yeah, and? Well, hello, why didn't you tell me? It's Wednesday and we're like best friends. <laughs> you always get mad at me when I meet guys. Oh, pish posh. You know what? Actually, it's a good thing that you called because I can't meet for our normal lunch thing on Saturday. I have a date with somebody. <laughs> you have a date on Saturday. Well... I have a date on Saturday. Oh my gosh, well isn't that just kismet? <laughs> Maybe we should double- Oh wait, just kidding. <laughs> hey, here's an idea. I will call you right before my- right before the date and then we can kind of chat, have a little girl chatter. That'll be fun. I'll make sure you don't wear that weird gray skirt that you have. Okay then, I'll talk to you Saturday. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Bye. Dan, how are you? I'm so excited to see Dan this evening. Dan? Well, my guy's name is Dan. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what does he look like? Um, well, he kind of looks like uh, Colin Farrell, but like six foot five. Oh, <laughs> well, mine kind of looks like Tay Diggs, only like completely hotter. My Dan <laughs> loves children. He actually donated one of his kidneys to a child. Oh yeah, well I'm sure that my Dan wants to have like like ten kids for sure. I mean I just got that vibe, you know, when we were just talking. Yeah, my mine invented a new source of energy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I gotta get ready, you know, to go. So. All right. Well, it was good to talk to you. Have a fabulous time. You too. Uh, hi there. I'm here for the Tim Tate exhibit. Oh, uh, Sarah. Anne? Hey, Tim, where do you want this? Dan! Dan. <laughs> oh. Bring that big hose over here. This is absolutely the last time. I cannot believe that you did that to me. That is my dream man You out did there. it to me! You told me that he was an astronaut! You told me he looked like Team Dan! Well, you, he almost kind of does! Your boobs are really stupidly droopy. What? You smell that. God ordained that I should be with oh, that yeah. man. Oh yeah, God is on your side. Him down. Yes, God is on my side. So ugly.
sorry. <laughs> we should really talk about this. Okay, yeah. It's just a guy. Dear God, I know I usually ask you to send me the ideal man, but today I just want to ask you for Anne's happiness, for Sarah's happiness. Thank you. Amen. Amen.